Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem HaKakudash, double honors to the apostles, and now there's a great millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Alright, uh, hey, this topic has gotten brothers <laughs> channels taken off YouTube recently, and a lot of them, and, uh, and if it wasn't, you know, their channel taken down, they're at least given a strike. <laughs> so, and then, you know, the, you know, when you can't upload, or you when you get a strike, you can't upload for a week. Um, but, <laughs> hey man, more, more advances to Esau Edom's uh, implants, man, which is the mark of the beast, all right, don't take any of this shit. Whether it be in your brain or the the RFID one or the you know the the identification one or really any of them, man. not even the 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 vaccine. Don't don't trust this dude. You know I think the Johnson and Johnson vaccine just recently you know had to be uh, uh fuck what was it called recalled you know basically like canceled. Because it's causing blood clots in people, man. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, uh... Yeah. DARPA displays human implant microchip that can detect viruses. Incredible, right? But, uh, you know... And they shall say, actually, I have it. I'm going to start out first one, though. Uh, this is First Thessalonians 5, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because, hey, the real brethren, the one that are, that's in this word, and, you know, uh, uh, you know, seek Yahweh Basham al Shai and seek his words and his prophecies, they see what's going on, you know? And these videos <laughs> really aren't for brothers that are on their watch because they're already watching. You know, it's mainly for the ones, you know, this word's going out to, to wake up the, the the elect, you know, the hopeful elect. The ones that don't know about Yahweh Bashim al Shai. But verse 2, it goes on to explain. It says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right? You know, no man knows the, the day nor hour except for the Most High, all right? But, hey, he left us signs and uh, and prophecies to watch after so that we know when it's getting close. Um, matter of fact, there's your dad the time. Diligently, that's Second Ezra 9. Yeah, this is Second uh, Ezra 9 and 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And one of those signs is the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So in other words, you can't buy or sell, you know, you can't participate in the economy if, unless you have this mark, right? You go into the word mark, you know, you're going to come across the Hebrew word karagama, which we go in time in. Time and time and time again, you know, karagma. I can already tell you what it means. It means implant, you know, a stamp, an imprinted mark, <laughs> the mark branded upon horses. All right, thing, carved, sculpture, graven work. It's, a, it's an imprint, man. It's an implant. Graven. <laughs> Something that's on you man in you let's go into the root carox 
a pail or stake. <laughs> a palisade, a palisade or a rampart. Let's go further. Is there a deeper root word? To write. Yeah, a, a mark. <laughs> mark means it's a physical mark. <laughs> it's going to be in you, branded on you, so that you can't operate in society. Just like, then that that's, you know, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, right? You know, and we know that gradualism is one of Esau's tactics. It's one of Satan's tactics. You know, he gets you slowly used to an idea. And also, uh, um, you know, that's why he kept on saying the new normal, you know, when all this uh, 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 stuff started happening. And another one of them is uh, social engineering tactic of uh, letting the mass uh, rule over the masses, which is a, a weird, I, I don't know the correct terminology for it, but that's the, you know, concept you know whenever you persuade the masses by saying the majority of people are doing something like if i were to say they, they did it with taxes in england where they're like um because like half of england wasn't paying taxes one year so they started sending out letters to everybody in the in the country saying nine out of ten people pay taxes which wasn't true. It was like five out of ten. They were saying like nine out of ten people pay taxes. We wanted to thank those that do. And then after they sent all those letters out, about like it rose to about like seven out of ten people started paying their taxes. <laughs> you know, just because they didn't want to feel like the, you know, uh, my minority, so to speak. And that's how Esau got everybody wearing masks into restaurants, <laughs> even if they owned the damn restaurant, um, in public places, even outside. It, you know, and then he got he got you know weak individuals <laughs> telling other people to pull up their mask, and the same thing's gonna happen. You know, when he presents this. Uh, Mark of the Beast, all right? The RFID chip, the implants, you know? If you don't take this, you're going to be looked at as, you know, the scum of the earth, <laughs> the outcast, the, the, the disease spreading people, the ones that's opposed to, to uh, getting back to the, getting back to normal, which it's not getting back to normal, all right? Hey, normal is the ancient world. Right, normal is when you have a shot comes back and and, and starts ex executing judgment. You know, that's that's gonna be the norm. Um. Yeah, I wanted to read some of this. These art, uh, read into it. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna start here. It says the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, or DARPA, is working on creating an implantable microchip that would monitor the human body for signs of the coronavirus. DARPA wants to take pandemics off the table. <laughs> so this is their solution to making the pan all the pandemics go away. An implant. All right. <laughs> You know, and I, I get excited because, hey, man, we've been saying this. You know, and it, it brings joy whenever we see prophecy being fulfilled. COVID-19 has infected more than a U.S. Defense Department's personal uh, personnel and their dependents around the world. That's such a low number. And, you know, they... I mean, I can talk about all the fucking stupid inconsistencies of the statistics and whatnot. How he has a 99.99 .99 repeating survival rate of P2 
people that aged from 0 to 65 or something like that. But anyways, tissue-like gel in the skin. It says tissue chip uh, developments is one of the rapidly growing areas in biomedical sciences. And tissue chips is, you know, how it works is they take stem cells and wrap it around, you know, stem cells from your body and wrap it around a microchip. So the chip, when it's implanted, it's accepted by your body as not a foreign uh, uh, device because it's wrapped around in your own stem cells. All right, and what stem cells are, are they're, they're like... Because you have different types of cells. You have blood cells, you have skin cells, uh, muscle cells, brain cells, so on and so forth. But then stem cells are unique because they can uh, uh, be relocated and work as any one type of those uh, different cells. So whenever it's wrapped around in stem cells, they can really be located anywhere and monitor activity inside of those cells and that that's just the craftiness of Esau Edom you know <laughs> hey man hey Yahweh Bashem Al Shot you know Yahweh he created a damn good devil you know um but anyways it says on the 60 minute uh on the 60 minutes show retired U.S. Colonel Matthew uh Hepburn an army infectious disease physician heading up DARPA's response to the pandemic held up a vial of green tissue like gel, which contained the chip. On the on the show, Hepburn said that tiny green thing in there, you put it underneath your skin, implanted or marked. And what that tells you is that there are chemical reactions going on inside your body. And that signal means you are going to have symptoms tomorrow. It's like a check engine light, Hepburn added. Hepburn joined DARPA as a program manager in 2013, names to address the dynamic threats of emerging infectious diseases with potential impact on national security. Oh, let's go back to First Thessalonians. Um, I think I left off, I stopped that too. But First Thessalonians 5 and 3, it says, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So they're doing this in the name of national security, you know, curing the pandemic that already has a 99.999 survival rate of healthy individuals. <laughs> Man. He sells crafty, man. I mean, you gotta, you gotta have respect for this devil because <laughs> he deceived the masses, and he's gonna deceive the masses into uh, taking this, this, these implants. He's already doing it, you know, he, <laughs> with the vaccine. He already got everybody wearing masks, you know, staying at home. <laughs> oh man. Um, Hepburn also revealed that DARPA has developed a filter to remove the virus from the blood through a dialysis machine. And a dialysis dialysis machine, man. He's saying he's, you gotta get hooked up to a machine to remove a virus. You know how else you, you get rid of viruses? Eating healthy, exercise. But no, he's, he said shut down the gyms and keep McDonald's open. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. Classic Esau. How he says, like, he wants to help people, but then, you know, everybody starts getting sicker. And mental, oh, that's my favorite is how mental illnesses skyrocketed in 2020, baby. <laughs> hey, but the scriptures also say that how the love of many will wax cold, you know, tensions rising, <laughs> you know, people on edge. 
you know, they, they, you know, will show the cases of coronaviruses on the news, but they won't tell you how, you know, people are <laughs> killing their family members because of cabin fever in their own house. You know how you combat mental illness? You go outside and, you know, do something. Go to the gym. You know, go to work. <laughs> Have a purpose in life. People aren't designed to, you know, stay locked up in their house. But, anyways. Um, where did I leave off? Uh, I think I was talking about the dialysis machines. Um, and, the F and that the FDA has approved it. And it has already been used on 300 patients and doesn't say if it helped them or not. Uh, U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower followed the advice of Secretary of Defense Neil Mc McElroy and scientists to propose the creation of the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA. This was after the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik. Okay, useless. Um, this is, oh, yeah, <laughs> I did want to read the first sen sentence out of this. Uh, recent DARPA research has shown the, the ability to accelerate pro production of millions of doses of vaccine uh, using novel plant-based methods. All right, so, you know, you have a huge pushback against these v vaccines because people are, you know, reading the ingredients saying, no, I don't want to put that in my body. But now they're saying, no, no they're plant-based, so you shouldn't have any reason to obj object getting the vaccine, you know? So watch out for plant-based. You don't know what they're putting in there. Just because it, it's just like, um, man, it's all semantics. Esau always plays semantics, you know? Just because, yeah, it's it may be... He gets uh, uh, the same chemicals from a plant that he could from, you know, something unlawful and will make... Okay, I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Poison ivy is plant. A lot of poisons are plant, you know, derived from plants. But, and, and you know, Esau plays semantics with you know, that organic ter terminology, same thing, man. Anything coming from Esau, don't, don't fucking take it. The clinical trials for vaccines and drugs can't be initiated without preclinical evidence of their safety in people. Yeah, kind of like the Johnson & Johnson vaccine <laughs> that recently got recalled uh, because people were getting blood clots. But, um... Yeah, they said DMX had the vaccine a couple weeks before, and what was that other, the baseball player, Hank Aaron, he got the vaccine two weeks later, he croaked, dead man, um, <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, hey, we know, we know what times and seasons we're in. And then also Brothers Channel's getting taken down because they're speaking on this. It's also prophecy. We know this is happening. And it's exciting. Uh, Amos 9 and 11. All day, every day. Amos 9 and 11. And it reads, And that, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle. No, 8 and 11. So I, can. I might read 9 and 11 too. But this is Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So us getting shadow banned, straight up banned, strikes, warnings. Bring it on, baby. It's prophecy. And we love seeing prophecy fulfilled. So ban our channels, please. Bob Shah. We're still going to Preach this word in every way possible until Yahweh Shah comes back. But, um, yeah, with that, I'm going to end it. Hey, 
Once again, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakodash. Shalom.